Hi, my name is Alex Dimitrov and I'm the team lead for Project 19097. Here is our the Virtual Design Day presentation. The goal of our project was to create and design a device that is capable of rapid flatness measurements. Our design uses 15 high accuracy contact sensors capable of measuring displacements as small as 0 0.002 millimeters. The sensors are held in place in an aluminum frame and powered by a rechargeable 24 volt battery. The measurement data is sent wirelessly through a small portable router to any nearby computer with the monitoring software installed. More details will be provided in the following slides. Overall, the measurement device is lightweight, portable, and easy to use. The problem our device addresses is the flatness of where the hydraulic mining shovel slew ring gears mount. These surfaces mount on the top and bottom of the excavator and bolt a gear that allow it to pivot. If these surfaces aren't extremely flat to the call out of the gear manufacturer's flatness, then stress concentrations occur in between the gear teeth and can lead to premature failure. The current method involves the very remedial way of placing a dial indicator on a stand and spinning it around the surface watching for deviations in flatness. Um, this method takes over eight hours for just to do one surface, either top or bottom, and most of the time Caterpillar doesn't even check it because the method is so uncontrolled. So our device addressed this by doing a portable and extremely accurate and lightweight, efficient, fast system, and you'll see this design shortly. Here are examples of the measurement surfaces. Um, the top surface on the left, you can see, is where our device will be able to be inserted and locked into place through a neoprene plunger. The right side shows the slew ring gear mounted to the bottom surface, so we can measure the underside as well as the gear surface to ensure it's within manufacturer spec. Hello, so our materials consisted of several different components. So for our metrology, we used um, high precision contact probes for, um, that we bought from Keyens. Since we utilized 15 of these contact probes, we had to get uh, three connection hubs provided by Keyens as well as seen in the picture on the right. And uh, we had a granite block for uh, calibration and with a hole cut in the middle. So for our data exportation, we had a actual uh, data communication unit provided by Keyens as seen on the right as well. Uh, we created custom cables and connections since none of them were provided by Keyens as they stated that they didn't exist. We had a modem, uh, software management system that we also bought from Keyens. And then for our main components, we had a, a main mounting plate, which is where all the surface contact probes are mounted on. We had a top plate for our clamp, uh, cylinder housing, uh, side handles, which connected to a safety sling system in case the system were to fall off. And our plunger system consisted of a, um, a clamp on the end of the top plate and a neoprene expansion plug. The overall design of the CFMS went through four major design revisions, ending up with the final design utilizing 15 of the high precision contact probes from Keyens. Through the use of a battery, router, and communication unit, we are able to operate completely wirelessly. The aluminum construction allows for the device to be lightweight as well as durable. The clamping mechanism, which can be seen on top of the device, allows the device to be used inverted while still maintaining the same level of precision. When the time came for assembly and fabrication, we initially started by sending our two main plates uh, to get machined and fabricated by a local machine shop where they analyzed it as well. Uh, we also got our cylindrical housing and uh, took it over to Pima Community College and uh, machined it using a CNC fourth axis mill. And then due to the whole COVID-19 complications, we uh, got creative and began to uh, aluminum cast our own parts. We did this through uh, 3D printing by, from our own personal printers and uh, aluminum casting setup by our team lead. And then the majority of our assembly and fabrication took place at our uh, team leader's home and uh, his own personal shop. Moving on, we also performed analysis on six different systems requirements, including accuracy, operation time, uh, sling safety, power, weight, and cost. And uh, as a team, we were able to achieve the desired tolerance measurement of 0.02 millimeters 
an accuracy of 0 0.002 millimeters uh, on a 150 by 150 millimeter surface area. The total time taken to measure the flatness of a single fluid ring came up to be at around 83 minutes. And the CFMS also achieves its target of translating data wirelessly to the PC. Aside from this, uh, the calculate time for the battery came up to 5.1 hours consuming 16.24 watts and peaking at around 1.48 amperes. Uh, we also make sure that slings actually prevent the CFMS from falling in case it slips out of the bowl when it's placed upside down. Aside from the analysis performed uh, on the system's requirements, we also had analysis outside the system's requirements, including a stress and thermal analysis on the mounting plate, which holds all the probes together. And uh, the deformation found due to high or extremely low temperatures uh, was not enough to actually alter the measured value. And looking at the top plate, uh, the force on the top plate caused by the handle was not high enough to actually deteriorate it. And finally, looking at the rigidity of the components inside, uh, we made sure that the probes are tightly bolted and other components such as the amplifiers, batteries, and routers are fixed using DIN rails to prevent any movement. For our project, our team spent $3,238 to buy all the items we need to complete the project and to deliver it to our sponsor. In short, the Finnish CFMS is a high quality two scale device ready for deployment into the test facility and in the field use. The Finnish product utilizes creative solutions to completing the project despite the ongoing COVID-19 crisis. Early planning helped prevent any major issues for the manufacturing of our system. We were able to get parts ordered really quickly before anything uh, really serious happened. Also, our team designed and built creative custom cable connectors and handles. Our CFMS meets all of the system requirements of Cretabon by Caterpillar. It is accurate to 0 0.002 millimeters, operates both right side up and inverted, and can wirelessly output data to a nearby computer. One cool piece of knowledge is that we began the process of obtaining intellectual property in conjunction with Caterpillar for our design and method of measurement. Here are some of the references and software that we use during senior design. Go. Cool.